Hello, my name is Jasim from Iraq. I'm an English teacher in my home country. Um, I've been teaching English for about four years. I graduated from Tikrit University, which is in north of Iraq. I studied there four years in, in Tikrit University. Um, I came here as a Fulbright scholar, and Fulbright, which is a very, very um, disciplined program or supplemental program that's uh, offered by U.S. governments to um, all the students all over the world. So I've been selected here by, by Fulbright to teach the Arabic language in Davidson County Community College for nine months. And also I, they offered me two courses. One of them is English 111 and the second one is Spanish. Uh, a lot of differences actually. I've noticed, for example, the food. It's totally different from, from their people, clothes, houses, buildings. For example, the house I'm living in, it's called the greenhouse. It is um, completely, or it's almost built from wood, which is not uh, familiar in my country. We don't use wood in, in building houses. So this is one of the new things that I, I just, cultural shock actually. <laughs> and other things just like uh, um, the uniform of the students when when the, the clothes the students they wear in the college is totally different because we have uniform in Iraq and we don't, you, you just can't wear whatever you want to wear. So you have to wear the uniform, it's um, a united uniform. Uh, but here, uh, I like it, I like it here because you can wear whatever you want to wear. And also about the, um, the weather is totally different. Um, the weather is kind of here, I like it here, it's not so warm but it's kind of humid we don't have such a humidity in Iraq but it's really really hot in in, in August and um, September well the students here is, are just like friends to their instructors they can talk they can have speech after class but in Iraq is kind of uh, we give more respect to the teacher, to the instructor. We can't just go out and talk to him as, as a normal person. So we have such a difference. So we have to say, for example, Mr. or Mrs. or Sir in Iraq. Here we can call the, our teachers by their names. So that's, it's fine. Um, so I like it here because we deal with everyone. It's just like a human. It's not, there's no levels, no differences. Yeah, but. For example, um, the associate dean, he usually comes and sits with me in the office and talk to me uh, um, um, sometimes uh, about many things, about his family. He also invited me one to take me home and uh, to go somewhere. Uh, this is, can't be happening in Iraq and <laughs> to talk to a dean and to invite you. This is not normal and it's kind of um, level differences or what do you call it, so, um, so socially differences or stuff like that, yeah. yeah actually, um, the misunderstanding, let me call it, uh, about Iraqi people, many people, or I don't know how, how, how the number is big or small, the people that think about Iraqi people is not, is not that socially people or extroverted person or introverted person, but I think because of the last events of ISIS and stuff like that, a lot of bad actions took place in Iraq. So many people thought that Iraq is a place of war and that's it. No, uh, I need to tell you that Iraq is a, a really wonderful place, though many bad actions took place over there, but still people, we have good people over there. We have um, a lot of generous people. I wish one day when everything speak, okay, in my country, go and visit Iraq and see how how the Iraqi hospitality and there they will invite you they will make you go into their houses and take you places and they will be very very happy to communicate with you by the way Iraqi people think about US people are very 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 friendly people usually the most friendly people in the world are US people whenever you talk to them they just keep a smile they offer help always whenever you need help for example when I came here I was kind of lost because of I'm not familiar with the computer stuff and stuff like that in teaching schools because we don't have that in our schools. So they 
you know, professors, teachers, students, all, all of them, they offer their help to me and they send me, sending me messages and emails whether I need anything to, to explain to me. They, they're really, really helpful and I can't kill them people of people. Yeah. After finish my DFLTA program, I have only a bachelor degree in English. So I'm thinking about pursuing my master's degree by the next years. Uh, so I made this program as a, as a foundation for me to prepare me to and to be familiar with the kind of study and academic um, um, uh, strategies in U.S. So I just to prepare myself for the master's degree, and I wish to to complete my master's degree in one of the U.S. colleges or universities. That will be very, very, very useful for me. And also, after I finish uh, the FLTA program, I need to go back home and um, offer the help to other teachers about the teaching methodologies, the new teaching methodologies, how, how the students and how the teachers communicate with each other, uh, how the teachers present his lessons to his students, and uh, what, mm, what, uh, uh, what is called uh, technologies are used in colleges a lot of technologies are used here in the US so unfortunately we don't use a lot of technologies in our schools and colleges so I need to if they ask me for advice of course they will ask me because they know that I'm here and they ask me to uh, what kind of things we can use in our schools to get our school better and better and to have good education in the next generation Well, I'd like to thank you, Fuller Price Program, who brought me here and make me live with the U.S. people. They are the most wonderful people. I have a lot of friends now, and I'm really, really happy, and I feel at home. I don't feel in any difference from the first time that just little things changed to me, but then I, I just get used to it, and everything is awesome for me.